guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Block Happy. It's a game for two to five players. It takes about 20 or so minutes to play and it's for ages six and up. And in the game Block Happy, you're basically going to be doing a take that game that also involves emotions. And the objective for that is basically you're gonna get seven cards in your hand, play a card down, draw a card type thing, and you're trying to gather as much happiness as humanly possible. If you can get six happiness and a special card or seven happiness, that will be what you need to win the game. Otherwise, you're gonna be out of luck. Go ahead and go through all the cards down below. I'll show you all the different types of emotions that can happen throughout this game and why this game relates to emotions and in what way it might relate to those emotions for you. And then we'll come up and I'll give you my review for the game Block Happy. Ready? Let's go. So here we have Block Happy and everything that comes in the game, which is pretty simple. It's just a stack of playing cards. These are, I believe, hexagonal or pe pentagonal? Hexa? Penta? Pentas 5. Hexagonal shapes here and there's different types of emotional cards in the game you're going to start with getting one happiness card each and just take them out of the deck and separate them for each player and then after that you're going to deal seven cards to each player which it shows you down here below after you've dealt out the seven cards you'll shuffle the happiness cards back in here shuffle the deck and begin the game and that's pretty much all you need for setup the different types of cards could include things like being outraged being smug being gloomy frustrated, uh, jealous, and scared, and there's many more as well. These cards all do something different. On your turn, you're simply going to play a card, do what it says, and then draw a card. Most likely, it'll tell you on the card what to do. You're always going to have a hand set of seven, and your objective is to get seven happiness to win the game. Or, if you're really special, you can get six happiness and then play the card Tickled Pink, and that will also win you the game. It happens instantly. Tickled Pink is a card you actually have to play, whereas just having the seven happiness is all you need in order to win the game. Block happy. Regardless, though, when you play cards, the objective is for you to feel a certain emotion when you play them, and definitely works for certain people depending on what type of gamer you are this is a take that game in general let's go ahead and show you just down below how to play the game how it kind of functions and then we'll come up and i'll give you my review for the game block happy so here's block happy and each player has one happiness to begin the game it tells you what you need in order to win the game whether it be seven happiness or six happiness and a tickled pink all the different happiness cards are different but they are all the same thing it just looks different with the different cutenesses this guy here he's got like a I don't know, like a like a pie or a cupcake or something. And this guy is like a Christmas happiness. In everybody's hand, they have seven, and no happiness will be in their hand because whenever they draw a happiness card, they're simply going to put it in front of them and draw a new card. You're always going to have seven cards in your hand, and they're always going to be different, uh, or at least different uh, types of artwork. I think they're all individual artwork, really pretty. Now, these cards are supposed to be hidden, so no one's going to see them, but the happiness is going to be shown. But just for the sake of uh, explaining the game to you, I'm going to have these available for for you to see. Here's the deck of cards, which you're gonna be having that happiness in this deck and you're gonna shuffle them up. In general, this game is gonna have seven different happiness cards as well as one tickled pink card. It's, there are a few other cards that function differently, but for the most part, we'll begin the game by the person who smiles the largest. And eh, this player here is smiling the largest, so we'll go with him. And he's gonna go ahead and play one card of his choosing, or if it's a specific basic emotion, you can play two of those cards. He's got a scared, jealous, outraged, frustrated, another outraged, a sad, and a smug. Smugs are cards that will let you stop other players from playing cards. Outrage will take happiness from other player players, and then you have the jealous, which can steal a happiness from a player, and scared is a basic emotion. You can play one just to draw a new card, or if you play a pair, you can take a card from the discard pile and draw a card from the top of the deck, because you're always going to have seven cards. So let's just go ahead and play one simple one, which will be uh, Jealous. Uh, this one here is a Jealous Power. He'll play this card here, and he'll steal one happiness from a player. And Smug, this card here, can't be used to stop this card. So this happiness will just go to this player just like that, and he's going to draw a new card. That card happened to be a happiness card, so it's going to go right here. He's three away from winning. Uh, plus the tickle pink or four if he just wants to win straight up. Oh, look at that. Another happiness card. That's very useful. And okay, now we got a funny card. So we'll just put that there for his hand size, hand size, and then this is the discard pile. Now it is this player's turn. He's got his seven cards and he can choose to do something cool. Like maybe he really likes that jealous card. So he'll play two funnies. 
Two funnies will let him choose a card from the discard pile and put that card into their hand, as well as drawing a new card. That's a happiness, just when he needed. And then another one here. This is angry, livid. Okay, we'll put this over here. It's a basic emotion. Back to this player's turn here. And this player can go ahead and play something like, oh, I don't know, outrage attack. This one says, I'm doomed. Uh, see their outrage. Take all their happiness from a player. So this is going to go here. And all the happiness from this player will go to this player here. Unless this player plays a smug card. This card will stop that player's outrage card from happening, in which case this player will drop to seven, and this player will drop to seven as well, and it passes back to this player's turn. And that's pretty much the style of the game. It just keeps going on. What is he? Glum, jealous, optimistic. We'll play an optimistic card. You play this card, it'll let you look at the top three cards, and if there's any happiness cards in this set, you put them in front of you. If not, you just choose one and put it into your hand. Uh, let's go with this one. This one looks really cute. And the rest of these, I believe, go on the bottom of the deck, but it doesn't say in the rules. And then back to this player's here. He's got uh, some, two smug cards, which would be good for uh, protecting things. This is a sad, gloomy card. You let you take a... Okay, this is a basic card, basic sad card. Frustrated. Hmm, I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's play this one. Frustrated. I'm going to go ahead and take your happiness. He doesn't have any smug cards, so another happiness will go to this player. And then he'll draw up to his seven hand card limit. And back to this player's turn again. And he's getting nervous, but luckily there are cards will let you get other, um, get, get other happiness from other players. What's this one here? This one says... Oh, uh, see, see, take one happiness from a player. Okay, and then say it's only a game. I'm gonna take this one happiness from you. He could play a smug card. I guess he will. He'll stop that from happening. Draws up, draws up, and then back to this player. And it just keeps going like that. Sometimes you'll be playing pairs of cards based on the basic emotions. Other times you'll be playing special cards, uh, so simply like smug or um, this, these outrage cards so let you take a lot of cards from players, the little happiness cards. But eventually, all of the happiness cards are going to come out. And when that happens, if you have all of them, I think this is all of them in the game, you will win. Now, let's say that in this case, he's got six and he's got one. There's one more card in this deck called Tickled Pink. And let's see if I can find that really quick. And that card, if you have that in your hand, this one right here, if he had this instead of this in his hand, and he's missing that one happiness, he could simply play this card. And that means he wins the game as opposed to having to have these seven cards. And that's Block Happy, a pretty simple take that style game with a lot of emotion involved. Let's come up and talk about it. So what do I think about Block Happy? Well, first of all, this is a take that card game. You've probably gathered that if you've played a lot of the more modern games. It's similar to games like Uno and other games which are just going ha, ha, ha. Uh, but what this game does is something really interesting. It will make you feel emotions. Now, of course, if you're an older audience playing with older family members or friends, it's probably less likely to do some of the things that it possibly can do with an, a younger audience. And so I highly recommend this with younger kids. All the artwork in this game is excellent. And the way they've moved the cards around is really cool as well. This happy, these happy cards, they all work really well. They all do feel like they are happy things. You want to have them as much as you can. You want to have as much happiness and you want to avoid things like boredom and things like smugness. And you don't want any of those nasty things. Being sad is not so good, but being pessimistic can be a uh, pretty useful card. So will let you draw from the top of the deck to gather what you need. Uh, you have things like being overjoyed. It's a very powerful card, letting you stop your opponent's anger and allowing you to then take whatever they were dishing at you and dish it back to them. Things like, sure, sure, uh, what is it, this one here? Surprised, or this one over here, flirty. This one, choose a player and pick a card blind from each other. In general, it's just a really fun, really cute game. Now this, like I said though, take that games for a family. Blah, what are you doing? Uh, is is going to be enjoyable, uh, but with you hardcore gamers, hardcore strategists, this game is going to involve a lot of luck, and of course, it's a take that feel. However, this is an excellent kids game. It does a lot of things right in a take that game that I really like. Specifically, all the different artwork in the game shows you what it's like to be that specific emotion, and it kind of also does it in a way that illustrates on the card. Like this is the glass half full and you're also being pessimistic which is not so good but there's also optimistic right which is the same type of artwork with a smile hostile as this guy's gotten broken this one here is scared or nervous and he's laying sitting there in the box this one is cheeky and he's being a little rude uh, angry and evil this is like this like nasty contaminated nuclear thing there's just a lot of really really cool cards to how they function sad and hurt and the idea is they want you to feel the emotions when you're playing these cards and I think for a kids card game it does that very 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 well 
And if I was going to rate the game on a scale, which I normally don't do, but I think in this type of circumstance, I'd like to do it for a basic take that style card game with people over the age of 20 or so, it's going to be probably right down the middle for me. But with kids, this game is almost a 10 out of 10 as far as a card game can go that has a take that feel. It's just really enjoyable. And you do feel the motions when cards get played. When people get angry at you, they take away your happiness. And when people get nervous or sad, things happen where they're trying to get better. They're trying to get increased, increase their emotional state to a more positive experience and everyone's just a little happy to begin with and hopefully somebody is the most happy at the end which will also turn out to be the winner of the game it just kind of makes sense so overall block happy is a really fun game i enjoy it i like the fact that there's so many different pieces of artwork if you think that your kids uh, are looking for a take that style game or you want to play something on family night this is definitely what i would suggest getting if you don't own any take that style games block happy is a fun experience and the artwork is just excellent i had a lot of fun playing this game. My only one critique I would say is in a two player game if you're playing with people who are a little older it's most likely going to come down to who can take all the happiness from one player. Those those cards get a lot, a lot stronger in a sense whereas in a larger player game it's not going to be as important and also there are cards that you take cards from the graveyard so you'll start noticing that cards that are very powerful will get taken more likely than others. However when the deck runs out you're going to have to reshuffle which kind of changes the game up. Uh, a very fun experience. Take a look down below if you're interested in taking a look at Block Happy on Kickstarter, I strongly recommend this game for kids and families. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that notification bell button up there. It definitely helps show you more games just like this one being played. And also, you can check out our live streams every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST. We play these games all the time on there. It's a big community. We have a lot of fun, and we give away games live there. Speaking of giveaways, unfilteredgamer.com has tons of giveaways, and we're giving away the game Santorini right now, but not for much longer and that's pretty much it block happy is a solid game i think you guys can enjoy it you family members uh this is gonna be a game i'm bringing to a lot of my family functions for the young kids there all right guys thanks so much for watching and as always i hope you be happy i hope you be happy